Is downtown Punta Cana safe? Well, I know going off the resort causes anxiety, especially in a place like Punta Cana. And we've done similar videos in the Cancun area and have gone to downtown Cancun. So we decided to do the same during our latest visit to the Dominican Republic and Punta Cana. And even though this was our fifth time visiting Punta Cana, it was our first time going into the downtown area because of similar concerns that you might have about it being safe. And I'm so happy that we did decide to go into downtown because we were very surprised on how clean, safe, and fun it was. And that was just our experience, which I'm going to show you in this video from beginning to end. And then you can decide for yourself if you think Punta Cana downtown might be a good experience for you. And if you are new to our channel, Three Days and Trace Notes brings you real honest, to the point resort reviews, travel tips, and information about the destinations that we go to. So please like and subscribe and follow us for more. We were staying at the Sanctuary Capcana, which is located about 30 minutes from downtown Punta Cana. And Sanctuary is beautiful. Definitely check out the entire review that we did in that resort. But the nightlife is really toned down and it's low key. So they are positioning themselves more as a luxury resort. So we were getting a little bored and very excited to check out downtown Punta Cana. Similar to Cancun, Coco Bongo is the main attraction in downtown Punta Cana. So if it is your first time going off the resort or your first time in Punta Cana, Coco Bongo usually is a great place to start. You can buy tickets for Coco Bongo lots of different ways. One is here, Viator.com, which we are partners with. Um, you can also do it through the resort. A lot of people are more comfortable that way. And it is an all-inclusive package. So it's about, I think, $80, $85 a person. And you get entry into the club with all of the shows and unlimited drinks. Transportation is usually included. And more often than not, it is a group setting. So again, it's a great way if it's your first time going off the resort into downtown to experience it in a safe and fun way. A Coco Bongo is definitely not for everyone. Um, it is in a large theater. It's back-to-back -back shows, I would say four to five hours. And the drinks are rail liquor. Now, if you wanna upgrade to better liquor, they do charge you quite a bit to do that. So it's definitely a touristy attraction. We did it way back in Cancun and that was enough for us. No desire to go back. I guess I'm glad I did it one time, but like I said, it's definitely not for everyone. But the nice thing about the downtown area in Punta Cana is they have a lot of really fun bars that are surrounding Coco Bongo. And of course I did my research before going. I watched several YouTube videos about downtown Punta Cana. So I was prepared, already had an idea of some of the places that we wanted to go. So if you decided not to go to Coco Bongo and you wanna go into downtown, usually the resort will arrange transportation for you. Uh, Sanctuary Capcana, again, that's where we were staying. Our butler was going to arrange it, but we decided to go with Diamond Transfers, who also took us from the airport to the resort to kind of try them out, and I'm so glad that we did. I mentioned downtown Punta Cana was about 30 minutes away from Sanctuary Capcana, so the ride actually wasn't as bad as I thought. It was a really easy ride, really fun. The drivers played us music. We had gotten some drinks at the resort and had them on the drive down there. Now this was a Tuesday night, so normally when we travel, it's usually Sunday through Wednesday. So we tend to miss all of the great nightlife in the downtown area, but it was still really fun. So let me show you a little bit of the different bars and the options that you have if you don't choose to go to Coco Bongo. Right away, one of the things I loved about the Punta Cana downtown area was where it was located. So unlike Cancun, it's not on a main road. It's actually kind of like tucked away in this little open air market, which I absolutely loved. And so it is a lot smaller, but there's still a ton of things to do and places to choose from. I had read a lot about the patio, which is a newer addition to the Punta Cana area. So I wanted to check that out first. And when we started to walk around, I guess the general manager spotted us with the camera and he was so great. He gave us a personal tour of the entire area. It is huge and really beautiful. And there's lots of different options. You can do VIP, celebrate special occasions. He was showing us the music lineup. And again, it was a Tuesday night and things usually don't start till about 11 o'clock. So there wasn't a lot going on. 
Um, so we went to another bar, but I am definitely going to be returning to the patio next time I come to Punta Cana. Now, Congo Bar was located right next to Coco Bongo and definitely seemed to have the most going on for it being that early. So that's where we decided to hang out. And it was a lot of fun. They had DJ, dancers, they had groups celebrating birthdays and special occasions, a full bar, and it's a little bit less expensive than the downtown Cancun area. Now, of course, this isn't the most accurate representation of the downtown area because it was a Tuesday between 10 and 11 o'clock at night. So of course it's going to feel more serene and safe because there's a lot less people there versus on a weekend where they say it can get really crazy and really rowdy. So that's another thing to note is that if you are a little bit nervous about going you know, with large crowds, then maybe go in an off peak time between Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And if you really are looking for that party vibe and the crowds, then make sure you wait to go closer towards the weekend. The other advantage of using diamond transfers is that they waited for us while we explored the downtown area which was perfect since we were only gonna be there for a few hours. So when we were ready, we just had to text them and they just pulled up and were there waiting for us. So I will put the link to book with them in the description below and shout out to Eduardo, the reservation manager, who helped set all of this up for me. Like I said, we had to catch a plane the next day, so we didn't wanna be out too late. We just wanted to get a feel for what the downtown area was like, get some footage, see what the vibe was like, and most importantly, if we thought it was safe or not. And I'm so glad that we did. I actually liked it even a little bit more than the Cancun downtown area. I just felt like it was a little bit cleaner, and I love the location, that open market area, and I definitely can't wait to return. And if you've been to the downtown Punta Cana area, I would love to know your experience. Please share them with us below in the comments, or maybe you live there, you're a local, and you can give us some more tips as well. And I do respond to all comments and questions. So if you do have any questions, maybe something I missed in the video, drop those in the comments as well. And most of all, I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, please like and subscribe and keep following us at Three Days and Trace Nudges.